Breaking news, my wonderful people. This one just did hit us now. And I truly understand with him. Peter Obi takes final decision on attending future debates where Tinubu Atiku are absent. Okay, that's why Dino Maleye get chance to the talk anyhow. Okay, that's why Dino Maleye has a chance to be spiting Peter Obi, you know. And Peter Obi had to speak up. I've taken, I've, I've taken enough, I've had enough of you. Okay, I've had enough of you. You can't be doing that. You expect him to be calm while you are poking his eyes. You want to blind him. Okay, so Peter will be just have to make decisions because Atiku and Tinubu are nowhere, you know, near the, the, the position of answering questions and understanding what Nigerians expect from them. But we all know that Peter will be, you know, will leave everything and come to support the people. But what does he get? What does he get? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Breaking news. Peter Obi takes final decision on attending future debates where Tinubu Atiku are absent. The Director General of the Obi Dante Campaign Organization, Doi, says the presidential candidate of the Labour Party Peter Obi will no longer show up for debates if his counterparts in other parties do not show up. There is no need. I cannot waste my time. It is unbelievable that why everyone is expected to be there, why things are expected to be done decently and in order, and Nigerians knowing who they should vote for, where people are able to ask questions and get true reply on how things should go, some of the presidential candidates have avoided and prevented themselves from attending any of such. Peter Obi has constantly been in most of, if not all, of the debates. This will not happen in future if others do not show up. Obi is in the race for the Aso Rock top job alongside frontliners presidential candidate like P Bola Ahmed Tinubu of the All Progressive Congress. Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, Rabi Konkoso of the New Nigerian People's Party, Obi Konkoso, Kola Abiola of the People Redemption Party, PROP, were present at a debate on Sunday. Though Delta State Governor, the PDP Vice Presidential Candidate, Okowa, represented Atiku, Tinubu and his running mate, Kashim, were absence completely it is unfair when we leave everything we have to do just to get here and see that people are not are not concerned about what is going on this is not acceptable and if others will not be present there is no need for peter obi to leave other very important issue and matters to come on and attend meetings that should be for nigerians to hear and to know what else and how Nigerians should prepare and the proposition of voting. I totally understand and I get it. Honestly, sincerely speaking, I totally understand and sincerely speaking, I get it. It's unbelievable. Truly very, very shocking. Okay? It's unbelievable why, you know, others will be there and some people will prefer, okay, we prefer not to attend or turn a blind eye okay turn a blind eye and pretend that all is well it's wrong what is wrong is wrong there's no other name for it that is why the name is called wrong it's wrong it's wrong we can't allow these things to continue to happen and expect that all of a sudden things will change it's wrong you know these people are doing it deliberately you are doing it deliberately they De like deliberately they are doing it on purpose it's wrong and we should not encourage such or allow it to continue to happen. You see the things that have been going on and all that has been going on, all that has been happening. It, it's, it's a thing of shame, if you ask me. A real thing of shame. Peter Obi will come there. He could have been, he could have been in a thousand places. Especially with election. Who has the time? Do you know where Tinubu was the very day this debate was going on? Do you know what? He was in a birthday party in Niger State. Actually, the birthday was held in, 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 in Abuja. The birthday was held. The former governor of Niger 
father was having a birthday. Now, is it wrong to attend a birthday? No. But do you have a vision in terms of, you know, you want to become president and so there is something to be done? Do you have a vision? Yes. Could you excuse yourself from that party? Yes. Can the party go on without you? Yes. Must you be there for the party to go on? No. So why will you leave millions of Nigerians who are expecting to hear from you? Why will you abandon them, then pretend, go ahead and think that it is because of these supporters, you see, Nigerians are more selfish than you can imagine. Have you heard of the word selfishness? Okay, think about it critically again and, and give, a, give a thorough definition to that word yourself and see where some Nigerians really stand. Because, ah, for instance, even if the person is not qualified, say, ah, no, 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 he must get there. Why should he get there? Is he qualified? Is this somebody who could, who could, you know, protect the people, implement laws and policies, challenge fronts of corruptions, and ensure that the nation move forward? Should we allow such people, you know, because we want to prove a point, to become leaders when we know that they are not qualified? Why should we do such? Are we not shooting ourselves on the foot with our own hands? Is that not what we are engaging and involved in? Excuse me. Is a man that is often rebuked and refuse to pay heed, that will suddenly be destroyed. For if you are rebuked, if you are told the pros and cons, then you sit down as a normal, rational human being, and you make a deep think, okay? And you think about it, and you make up your mind and say, wow, okay, let's go back to the drawing board, and let's put things in order. And you prevent some of those things. Eventually, you make good for yourself. But when you pretend, and you think that, oh, every, you will be, you'll be shocked, I'm very surprised at the way things will go. Yes, so these are some of the very uh, unbelievable things that we are experiencing and why we should not allow such things to continue to happen, you know, in front of us. It's, 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 un, it's, not, it's unreasonable. It's unheard of. We should not allow such to continue again. We should not allow it. We shouldn't. Not in a million years. We shouldn't allow it to continue to happen. It's terrible, but that's the real reality of what is on ground. You see, Nigerians, the time to move forward, the time to prevent everything that, you know, these people are trying to throw at us is now so that we can truly make a, make a, make a, real, a real progress as a people. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day from us. It's bye for now.